Willie D Live. What's up, family? Let's talk about an uncivilized mutt. What I'm about to tell you guys is so disgusting, so subhuman, such a violation that you might just go looking for this chump. This guy, Dr. Jay Varmer, is the former senior advisor for public health at the New York mayor's office. This uncivilized mutt was caught on video bragging about drug-fueled sex parties during the pandemic. During the pandemic, while the rest of us were on lockdown at home, miserable, afraid to go out, wearing masks in public, could not go to work to earn a living, denied the right to visit loved ones, in convalescent facilities and hospitals. This uncivilized mutt and his co-conspirators were out living it up, having drug-fueled orgies. Yeah, not my words, fam. These are his words. I had to be kind of sneaky about it. I was running the entire COVID response for the city. We rented a hotel. We all took like, you know, Molly, eight to 10 of us were in a room, like just being naked and friends. We went to some like underground dance party underneath the bank on Wall Street. We were all rolling. This was not COVID friendly. I did all this deviant sexual stuff while, you know, like on TV and stuff. The only way I could do this job for the city was if I had some way to blow off steam every now and then. That ain't the worst. That ain't the worst. The worst part of his confession, which we already knew, but to hear them say it, to hear one of them say it, oh fam, oh man. God help us, man. This uncivilized mutt said, the way we do it in public health is, we make it uncomfortable for you to go to work. You can't go to work. You can't go to restaurants. We just make it uncomfortable for you. And then, next thing you know, people just kind of cave in. And that's exactly what happened. They was threatening people, jobs. People got fired, people lost careers. People's lives were ruined. There were people who could not go to the hospital to see their loved ones. I'm talking about mama, daddy, sister, brother. I'm talking about grandma. Granddad, he couldn't go see him. No contact. It's a cold game, man. Wow. Not to mention the new life that was coming into the world. Husbands could not go see their wives, birth their babies. They robbed those men of that opportunity. These low down, uncivilized mutts. Whoo, they run rampant through this country, man. And what have I said repeatedly, fam? These uncivilized mutts are at the highest levels of government. This is why we cannot live in a harmonious society. Evil runs this country. I know some of y'all don't like to hear that. Some of y'all really, really believe that there's hope. There is no hope, man. I'm telling you. The best that you can do is the best that you can do. That's it, man. That's it. They got it on lock. If you go too hard in trying to bring people together, if you go too hard and trying to come up with a cure for whatever. 
I don't care if it's cancer, which I actually think is a cure out there already. These people will make your life a living hell or they'll take you out. Yeah. Further proof that they care nothing about us, family. They care nothing about us. You think that he's the only one or those eight to 10 people he said he was with are the only ones that knew what it was? You think they're the only ones? Jay Varma is out here shielding for Big Pharma. What a coincidence, his name rhymes with Pharma. Jay Varma. This uncivilized mutt is just laughing it up. Big salute to the people who recorded him. I'm not familiar with them, I don't know the name, but shot side if anybody knows who recorded that piece and put it out there please tag them thank you thank you i ain't got no problem with that man these uncivilized much man they are everywhere. And I'm going to tell you something. They're on both sides. That's right. I said it. They're on both sides. You think just because the Republicans were in office that the Democrats didn't know what was going on? Fam, they're on the same team. They always know what's going on. Watch this. It is very rare that you have non-partisan laws put in place or policies put in place. That is very rare. COVID was an exception and it was an exception that was agreed on mutually immediately. There was no pushback from the Republicans. There was no pushback from the Democrats. Later on, the Republicans saw that they could use the, the COVID pandemic as a political talking point. We want to end it. We want to bring America back and we need to get back to work. It had nothing to do with some moral or civic obligation. It was strictly a political talking point. Cold game, man, cold game. And I'm glad that this stuff is being exposed now because you better believe the next move was to put chips in our bodies. That's the next move. and. It's like the dude said, they're just going to run that same play. They're going to run the same play. Make it uncomfortable for you. Make it uncomfortable for you to go to work. Make it uncomfortable for you to go to school. Use celebrities to promote. Sticking you. Putting it in you. Just like they did with COVID. Celebrities like, ooh, <laughs> laughing, smiling use popular people, attractive people, use politicians. Look, 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 I'm doing it. And a lot of them didn't even get, take it. Did you know that? Um, I don't think any of them took it because they knew what it was. It says a lot when the actual guy who's promoting it the most, Dr. Fauci, is promoting Everybody else taking the, the jab, but he wouldn't take it. That's common sense one-on-one. -on -one. If all of us would have collectively stood up against that, that would not have been a lockdown because 
they need all of us, or at least most of us, in order to pull off their scams. They can't do it without most of us. They can afford to lose a few, but they can't afford to lose a lot. And if all of us would have stood our ground, if most of us would have stood our ground, they would not have had any other choice but to continue on without a lockdown, without forcing people to put their foreign stuff in their bodies. Let me tell you something about me, fam. When I stand on it, I stand on it and I'll deal with the consequences. I stood on principle. I stuck to my convictions that I was not going to allow them to put that stuff in me because how are you going to say it takes all of these years for these drugs to be approved? It takes 10, 15, 20 years and all of a sudden you got something in a few short months. And then they try to justify by saying, well, we had the whole world working on wood. I thought the whole world was working on cancer. Where's the cure? But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.